Hello everyone. I recently did a video series chronicling tutorials on how to use our effects size software HLS Meta. And as I was doing it, I was realizing it would probably be a good idea to also show you how to use what we were previously using, and that's the Excel spreadsheet that calculates effect sizes. It's um it's the same format as HLS Meta and almost like a template version of beta version of what was or is HLS Meta. So I'm going to show you in this video how to use the spreadsheet in order to calculate effect sizes. This is going to help you resolve some issues that we have with programming right now for HLS Meta that we're working to fix. And it's also going to provide you a way to, in some ways, do the effect sizes faster. If you can understand the spreadsheet, it's actually going to help you do things a lot faster, calculate effect sizes faster. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use or give you an introduction on how to use this the spreadsheet so I'm just gonna kind of go through this tab right here there's a bunch of tabs down here at the bottom this calculator tab is gonna give you all the calculators that are actually used in HLS meta but it's gonna be in the spreadsheet format and I'm going to show you what all of this means so this will kinda of give you a flavor for what's to expect going forward in the rest of these videos but it'll make a lot more sense as to how this all works and how you're going to be able to use it going forward. So the first thing I'm going to highlight here is this column right here, design. So just like in HLS Meta, there's three designs in which we calculate effect sizes for within this, within this spreadsheet. Highlighting right here, as you can see, this is listed as design one, and there's also design two and design three down here. Design 1 is going to be a pre-test, post-test, two-group design. So this is going to be for intervention control comparisons where there's pre-test data and post-test data for both intervention and control groups. This Design 2 is going to be for post-test only comparisons. So this is going to be for comparisons between intervention and control groups with no pre-test data where the intervention and control only report data for post-test or follow-up and it's going to calculate an effect size for that comparison. And down here is design 3 and this is going to just be a pre-test, post-test, one group. So typically this is going to be like a pilot study, like a pre-test, post-test change from one group from pre-test to post-test. So in that case, there will be no comparison group. The comparison point will actually be the pretest point. So given those three designs, there's going to be a number of different statistics within each design. So once again, this is design one. These these rows right here. Each row indicates a different statistic that you can input into that row to calculate an effect size for. So as you can see, there's an, a large number of statistics that we can actually calculate effect sizes for and these are all the same statistics that are used in HLS Meta so this is like I said just a template for that program um, so this row for instance is means and standard deviations if the reported pretest post test for two groups given that it's this design pretest post test two groups and means and standard deviations if you were given t-tests so there's a t-test t-statistic given for pretest to post-test in the experimental group and also t-test pretest to post-test for the control group that's going to give you a comparison for those proportions so pretest post-test in experimental and pretest post-test in control proportions given for both those four data points down here it's going to be the same idea so means and standard deviations design too so means and standard deviations are being reported in this row as post-test only data so means and standard deviations in the experimental at post-test and in the control at post-test proportions at post-test in the experimental proportions in the post-test at control and same with this right here so this design three is going to give you means and standard deviations for design three, means and standard deviations for pretest and post test. And 
them proportions, pre-test, and post-test for one group. So the important thing to just remember at this point, given this is just an introductory video, is each row is going to give you statistic and that design that goes with it. So when you go through a study, you're going to first want to ask yourself what kind of data is being reported, what statistics are being reported, and what's the design of the study. Is it two groups, pre-test, post-test, two groups, post-test only, or one group pre-post data? And that's going to give you the design one, two, or three, and then you're going to figure out what statistics are reported. It means it's standard deviations, proportions, betas, and you're going to kind of match up in that way to figure out what is what. So, to give you also a general overview of some of the data you're going to input, as you can see right here, these columns are the experimental data that's going to be entered and these columns are going to be the controlled data that's entered. Now if you've used HLS meta before you're going to recognize that this is the same format as that program that it exports the the file as, the text file as when you put it into Excel. So it actually would probably help to use HLS meta first and export a few studies and a few measures to understand the format better and then you'll be able to understand this file a lot more easily. So looking quickly See, as we're in the experimental cells, which is these cells right here, what's going to be input in these cells is the pretest data for the experimental group. And what's going to be input here is the post test data for the experimental group. These are all the control group data. This is going to be the pretest control data in those three cells and the post test in these three cells. So, as you can see, there's tons of labels here. They actually correspond with the different statistics reported here. So we'll go over what goes in what column in later videos and later examples in these tutorials. But for now, all you really need to recognize is that this is experimental data, pre and post, the control data pre and post, pre-test, post-test, pre-test, post-test. So, to kind of give you a general idea, it's the easiest to make it clear is to look at the means and standard deviations. So, you, as you can see, all the cells are highlighted here for the means and standard deviations in the design one. And that's because you're going to use the pretest, the post test, and the experimental on the pretest, and post test in the control. So, so, it's going to use all of this data, and that's why these are highlighted yellow. If you scroll down, design two is only using post test data. So, as we said, these are the post-test cells in the experimental, and these are the post-test cells in the control. So for the design two, means and standard deviations, these are the only cells highlighted that are the post-test cells for the experimental and control. And looking over here, as we said before, these are the experimental cells pre and post. So you're going to look here, means and standard deviations, the pretest cells here are highlighted, and the post-test cells for experimental, and there are no control cells cells highlighted, and that's because there is no control data. This is just a one group pretest post-test design. Scrolling right. As you can see, there's a tons of cells here of calculations. So in each cell, it's actually using data that you reported in these yellow cells here to calculate statistics, to calculate data. And what it's calculating is different things depending on what columns you're looking in. So I'm going to highlight here, this is the effect size of the experimental group. And data that goes along with that are going to be in these cells. And as you can see, that's labeled right here to give you an indication. All of the control data is going to be labeled here. And all the experimental versus control data is going to be reported here. So any data calculated here is going to be measuring the magnitude of change from pretest to post test in the experimental group and effect size pretest to post test in the experimental group. Anything here is going to be data calculated pretest, post test 
for the control and effect size calculated for that, the magnitude of change from pretest to post-test. And this is going to measure the magnitude of difference between the experimental group and the control group. And how this calculates is, is going to depend on what design you're using. But this is going to compare the two groups as opposed to comparing within the group, it's going to be the between group effects. And looking within each column, you're going to see D, VAR, W, and then the CI. So what that is, is D is the effect size, VAR is the variance, W is the weight, and what we have here in these two columns is the, the lower and upper confidence interval. This file actually needs to be fixed because this right here should be labeled as this. lower level, upper level. So this column is the lower level confidence interval and this column is the upper level confidence interval. And this data is all for the experimental group. So you have the, the D, the variance, the weight, and the confidence interval for the pre-test to post-test data in the experimental group. And that's going to be repeated over here for the control group. The same calculations except for the control group now instead of the experimental group. The D, the variance, the weight and the upper, the lower and upper confidence interval. And here's the same idea except for the experimental versus the control group, the between groups comparison. So this is the effect size, the D for that, the variance, the weight, and the lower and upper confidence interval. Now that I've given you a basic overview of the template we're working with, I'm going to actually show you individual examples based on the type of statistics used and the type of design in the following videos so that way you can see more specifically for each design and each statistic how to calculate the effect size, where to input the data and where it's going to be output for each.